Oh boy. It's my favorite section. <laughs> uh, everybody's favorite planet. Man, the planets are really close together. Yeah. Hey, there's Mr. Fizzwidget. <laughs> Everything's fine! There was just a bit of debris on the landing pad. That was our ship. Don't worry about it, little fella. It's insured. So, do you have the, uh, delivery? Terrifulous! Come, gentlemen. There is precious little time. Just sit back and relax, boys. How about a little flying music? He did that on purpose. Nah, he's just easily distracted. Yeah, well, well... <laughs> Come on, let's see if we can find a way out of here. Let's ask these horrible snake creatures. <laughs> so we still can't afford the synthenoids, but they're kind of dumb anyway. We have two new weapons, the lava gun and the bouncer, and I can afford the lava gun right now. Why did you buy the lava gun? Well, the lava gun's kind of infamous for several reasons. Also, because this level starts up immediately after you finish the last one. I didn't have a chance to go into my quick select and do what I usually do at the end of levels, which is uh, set up the whole thing for the next one so I don't constantly go into the uh, quick select. Excuse me, do you know if there's a way out of here? Oh. <laughs> now, the lava gun's really, really awesome. It should set a steady stream of lava that, you know, will trail behind. It's got about... I don't know, half a second in lag between firing and... And it looks really neat. There's just yeah. a slight, slight problem with it. Yeah, this is the one weapon that is infamous for getting worse when it levels up. It... Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to level it up before the end of the game or not, because I really don't know if I'll be using it after this level, but... It changes the... When it levels up, it changes the way it works completely. Instead of being a steady stream, it shoots out these little meteor things, and it's just awful. It's pretty garbage. And I can... I can forgive them, because the developers said that, you know, well, to them, doing more damage was better, but they didn't realize that part of the way that guns worked was... Make, keeping the way that they operate and just completely changing the way it works from one form to another was not a good thing, and they've never repeated that. They've learned from their mistake. So I can forgive them. I just, I just feel like it should have come up in blaze testing. It's like one dude being like, "Yo, this is garbage." Yeah, maybe it did, and they just ignored that dude, and they're like, "Nah, he doesn't know what he's talking about." Plus, I mean, come on, would you fucking listen to a playtester anyway? That's kind of what they're for. If you don't listen to them, you're kind of messing up on a fundamental level. Mmm, nah. Hello, your shit is not fun. This is my job <laughs> to tell you when is your shit is or is not fun. Uh, well then, if, if that was the case, where the hell were they during the entire production of All for One? I don't think there was playtested. I really <laughs> honestly do not. It says, in case of emergency, break glass with wrench. Hold on. This one says, use rock to break glass to get wrench to break glass to get rock. Ooh, I love logic puzzles. Let's see. If you break the glass with a... Solved it. <laughs> Alright, so now we have an upgraded wrench. It actually deals more damage, and this is... The wrench that it's first possible to beat Chainblade with only using the wrench with. Um, there's another wrench upgrade later that makes it even easier, but this is the first one that's like makes it, I think, even remotely possible. And it's really weird that they did this because with the weapon upgrades, they were trying to really drive home the point that you shouldn't be using your wrench. So... But wrench. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they attached some sort of knife to it. Hmm. Get a knife wrench. 
Oh, practical and safe. For kids. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm talking about. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. He, sa he says it's sa for kids. Later. Drill fork. Oh, that's Drill right. Fork. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Mostly fork. <laughs> All right, we're both dumb. Moving on. <laughs> All right, so there's actually a second type of uh, nanotech crate now. It's uh, purple. And instead of only healing one segment of health, it heals four. That's because at this point, you know, if you're taking a lot of damage, one health at a time is not going to be worth it. Alright. So they started upping the ante. Also, I like purple. Yeah, purple's good pretty color. good. Yeah, nice powerful color. I think I've said this before. Hmm. Hand over the experiment now! I can't do that. You have three seconds. One, two, three... <laughs> Whoa! He's... a uh, she. This changes nothing. Where's the experiment? We have returned it to Mr. Fizz, Widget. Oh, you've just put the whole galaxy in imminent danger. But, but... I don't have time to stand around explaining it to you. If you have any intention of fixing the mess you've made, watch this. Oh, no. Good thing that wasn't little Susie. Here at the Megacorp Testing Facility, we make sure the products you buy are safe for you and your family. These are just a few of the products we've rejected to help keep you safe. The Tiny Tot Slingshot, the Nuclear Mousetrap, Self-Wedgifying Underwear, and the Lawn Ninjas. So the next time your toaster doesn't explode in your face, say a little thank you to the Megacorp Testing Facility. Wow, she's got a few bolts loose. What does a testing facility have to do with galactic danger? I am unsure. However, I believe we should investigate that location. Well, we're gonna need a new ship. Hey, you know what would have solved a lot of problems for you, lady? Just explain what the hell is going on? <laughs> Why is this a problem for people? Also, this asshole. Oh. Oh. Hello, sir. Hey, that's my ship. Possession is an illusion. Do not all things belong to the cosmos? Uh, no. That's definitely mine. This vessel suffers from wounded chai. Only the power of the crystals can hope to heal it. Crystals, sir? Crystals? Like those found in the desert? Beyond. Oh. Oh. Well, we don't have any better ideas. Let's go grab a few crystals. Alright, so we need ten crystals to repair the ship. There's crystals in that layer of desert. <laughs> and this involves going out to the desert and finding crystals and breaking crystals and then taking the crystals for ourselves. Only slightly more fun than space whale hunting. Yeah. Yeah, this is a... Uh... I'm going to say this right now, this is the second lowest point in the game. There's one low point lower than this later, and it also involves hunting a large amount of bullshit rocks that you don't really need. But I'm just leaving this whole part in right here, just as an example to show you what it's like. This, ex this alcohol is not nearly strong enough for this. <laughs> Oh, also, you'll occasionally see these piles of rubble, and hiding under these piles of rubble are giant monsters. And when you kill the giant monsters, they drop a crystal. Hooray! Yeah, holder bug. <laughs> nah, not nearly enough eyes. It does do the shoot beams out of its eyes thing, and it adds, like, little flaily bits. Yeah. It's kinda. Kinda. It just needs about a dozen more eyes. I thought there were different varieties. There there are, it's just beholder beholders have ten. One in the middle and then like nine on stalks. Hmm. 
And then there's like Galths that have four on stalks, and then there's there's basically a whole like monster manuals worth of beholders that you can go into that nobody ever uses because they're all dumb. Also, I had to go into this uh, quick select button menu because there's really no reason to use any gadgets while you're in the desert because all it is is just jumping around and killing monsters for profit. And for this particular part, story progression, why would you ever do this for story progression? This is the worst thing. Uh, it, it could be worse. They could make you get all 40 of them. I'm, wait, is it 40 or there are... I think it's 40. There's a hundred of them in uh, the desert. Oh, shit. Yeah. I never bothered doing it. Ever. <laughs> I've had to do it five times. Because that's how many recordings of this level I've had to do. I mean, like, getting the whole 100. No, 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 I'm ta that's what I'm talking about. You insane little man. <laughs> There's 12 on this little outcropping, and once you get all 12, it's just easy enough to just ignore the outcropping for forever, unless you're just traveling right through it. But uh, let's restock, because we have a trick ahead of us. Yeah. Now, notice the timestamp. Yes, the crystals are spiking the mine with a single voice. That was pretty impressive. Bring me more crystals, and I'll pay you cold hard bolts. Huh? Oh. 600 frames per second! <laughs> <laughs> I sped this up a thousand times. It still takes two minutes to get through. <laughs> uh, Alright, so what do you want to talk about for two minutes? Um, well, before we get too far into it, there's a skill point for getting all 100 crystals, and hiding in the desert somewhere is a platinum bolt, which I just got. Yay. So, um, yeah, what do I want to talk about for two minutes? Uh, I've been reading the Hunger Games trilogy... Yeah. I just finished the second book. I thought the first two were alright, and then the third one, everything goes crazy stupid. I, I hear the third one's a little disappointing, yeah. But I really like the first two so far. I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of the first two. I just thought they were alright for, you know, young adult children's books. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty ballsy that the entire uh, first book is just based around the concept of what if we had a bunch of children murder the shit out of each other? Well, it's, it's kind of dumb Battle Royale, is what it is. Yeah. But, like, child murder, that's that's a hard concept to sell. And then they made a movie out of it. Yeah. Weird. Uh, anyway, yeah. <sighs> so, yeah, you, you'll notice that my health is really low. This is actually the first time I actually die in here, and I really just don't give a shit, because... It is not worth it. You're already dead on the inside. Uh, oh, yeah. You can do nothing to me that this desert has not already done. <laughs> I, I had to do this five times. Okay. I'm never doing this again. Fuck it. I don't care how good the bouncer is. I'm never fucking doing this entire desert again. You cannot make me. We have 79 out of 90, 80 out of 90. I saw the Hobbit part 2 today. That looks good, I want to go see that. Yeah, I liked it pretty well. Some of the uh, CGI at the end was weak, just in a couple parts. Um, there was a section where the, you know they go, uh, you know the bit where they're going down the river? Yeah. Um, that whole section was good, but there's like a couple shots, um, where they're like actually going through the rapids and the one to make you know going underwater, and I swear to God those were just shot on like a GoPro. 
There's like a couple shots. If you if you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Th- this looks so weird now because it's just so slow compared to 1,000 times speed. Mm-hmm. But we're done. We have all the crystals, and we're gonna get paid a cold 90,000 volts, which we're just gonna immediately spend. Hooray! Can we kill that guy now? No. Oh. Because the bouncer is probably one of the best guns in the game. Dang. Yeah. You couldn't have just, like, gotten bolts literally any other way. <laughs> um, yes, but this is a lot faster, believe it or not. Yes, 40 minutes of traversing a goddamn desert for crystals is faster than grinding out another 90,000 bolts any other way. So, the bouncer is one of those fire and forget weapons. You shoot it, and a big old bouncer pops out, explodes, and then a bunch of little bombs pop out and bounce all around and kill whatever they come in contact with. I like it. Yeah, it's a really, really good weapon. It's probably... A lot of people would say that it's probably the best gun in the game, and I cannot really contest this. Like, it's prob- it probably is one of the best non-Rhino weapons in the game. So yeah, we're back to doing an actual, you know, level now. Hooray! Well, Terminator puzzles. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Water get hot. Water get cold. Water get hot. Water get. Co- oh god. So here's a puzzle. I'm doing the really big air quotes thing. Uh, if you step on one side, it just sinks and then you can freeze the water to snap it in place so we want to go up that wall but if we do it the other way first and if I stop jumping around like an idiot we can get a (sighs) pony platinum bolt a little less exciting than a pony sorry ponies are shit machines (laughs) I hate horses in general yeah horses are jerks they consume way too much food to be any sort of good. Modern horse is like so inbred that if you look at one funny, it'll die. <laughs> Isn't there only like one area in the world with wild horses still? Ah, uh, um, um, let me think. I, there's probably more than one. I think there's only one in the Americas. Yeah, that's Assateague Island. I know that because I actually live about an hour away from Assateague. Oh, okay, cool. Um, and then, uh... I, know, I don't know if they're still around in Spain. Hmm. I mean, they're native to Spain, I, I think. Well, let's stop talking about awful animals and talk about something else, like how Skype, Skype hates us tonight. He wants to say Skype. Yeah, but... Yeah, Skype has crashed on us twice. So yep. fun. Uh, Super fun. But man... I, I know that horses first evolved uh, around the time when like um, whales were just still walking around on land and they just start, started to go in the ocean. What do we got here? Ooh, we got a glider! Oh boy! Yup! You, if you step on these little arrow things, you activate the glider and you fly around. Now where the hobgoblin? <laughs> And uh, the ground and stuff glitches around you, and yeah. Neat. See, look at that wall. <laughs> <laughs> look at that wall disappear, Henry. What? <laughs> what do you do to video games? I don't know. I like your theory that I exude, like, Luddite particles. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> because you just do weird shit to video games without even trying. Oh, yeah. Have you seen the random shit that I've uploaded to my YouTube channel. <laughs> and if you fly above all of these, um, like, reactor things, I guess that's what they are, one of them actually has a nanotech boost on top of them. Is it that one right there? Yes. And if you fly right straight into it, you just, bam, instant health up. Hurrah! You have so much health that they have to be little circles now. Aww, cute. Yup. And then you get a platinum bolt for free. I think this platinum bolt's actually mandatory. Neat. 
But, yep, we're done. This is like a way to say, hey, you probably should have been looking for these, idiot. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck you, you're not my real dad. <laughs> but we're done. We're done with this awful planet. This planet Thank sucks. Thank God. Shoot him on the way out. I wish. I really wish. <sighs> Wait.